let's look at setting up our time signature before we dive into the recording videos. Well, the first time you're given an option to select your time signature is the in the choose a project screen. So I can either use the arrows, scroll, or double click to type my time signature. I'm going to leave it on 4-4, so let's click choose now. The first way to change your time signature is by going to your LCD and clicking on the time signature box. That will give you a list with the most common time signature signatures. And you know, if you're from the Balkans, like I am, then you can go to custom and write the time signature that you want. Speaking of Balkans, let's look at a common example. Let's look at 7, 8. So 7 and 8. So no one plays a 7, 8 by counting its 8th note. And by default, that's the way Logic will play it back. So let me click on the name metronome and have a listen. No one does that. You group the notes into bit groupings of 2 and 3. So a common example is 2, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So if I want that grouping of notes, then I go to custom, I select 7, 8, and on the bit grouping I type 2 space 2 space 3. So 2, 2, 3. Change product, project signature. And now, whenever I play it, listen to the groupings. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Let's say that I want 3, 2, and 2. 3, 2, and 2. And now the groupings will be 3, and then 2, and then 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, second way of changing your time signature, and the one that you will be using the most if you have lots of time signature, is by the global tracks. So either click on this arrow here or press G as in golf. And then if I click on the plus button of signature, then wherever my playhead is, a new time signature will be added. And then you can select it. As before, you can do a bit grouping as well. Let's do 4-4. Four, four. And as I said, we can have multiple time signature. So let's say that after four bars, I want to change it again, so I can click on signature again and say that this time I want a 5-4. After two bars, I want a 7-8 again. Let's go, let's type it in this time, 7-8 with a 2-2-3 two, two, bit grouping. And that's it. Now here's a few things you can actually do here to speed up the process. So let's say that you you don't want this one to be two bars. You can actually move, grab the edges and move them. I can make this one shorter. So I can just make the 4-4 four, four longer or change the place. Or I can hold down Option and then drag it. So if I hold down Option and drag this 4, 4, let's say to bar 16. Let me zoom in. Then it will change the time signature here. So I don't always have to press on Signature. And lastly, if you want to change one of these time signatures, you don't have to do the whole thing. You just simply double click on it and then simply just change it from here. And last way of changing your time signature is by going to your list editors and then go to signature. And this is exactly like the tempo tab we have looked at. You get this line here which represents the playhead position. Let's go back and then just move it. And of course, as before, you can simply, you know, click and drag to change you know, the time tempo, or click on it, select something else, or double click to type it. And that's it for the time signatures.